there should be no excuses in your life. If something happens, it just happens. And some things we can't control at all. There should be no excuses. You should immediately be trying to find a way to get around it. Even if somebody's passed away, even if you lost everything, even if you're about to lose everything, there should be no excuses. You should be able to pick yourself up and do a strategy and get on out there again. We've got to put in the work. We've got to put in the struggle. We've got to keep going. We've got one life. And if we don't keep going, we're going to fail. We're going to be a loser. We're going to be a failure. We know we got problems. We know problems are going to come. They're a sinking fund all by themselves. You know they're coming. And some things we don't prepare for even though we know they're coming. We're just hoping the car holds up. We're just hoping the house holds up and that we don't have any leaks or storms. We're just hoping. But we know things come up. It's the game of life, I keep telling you. It's not about fate. It's not about luck. It's not about that house gets hit by a thunderstorm and yours doesn't. It's life. And there's struggles. And we have to be prepared for those struggles and stop having excuses of why we can't get through that struggle. That Those excuses hold us back. We keep staying in this little comfort zone like, I'll just stay right here. I'll just be quiet. It won't happen. I hope, I hope, I hope. You got to be prepared. You got to visualize a dream within that instead of staying in your comfort zone all the time. That's how other people get out of their comfort zone and quit having these excuses. Oh, I can't make money because of my race. I can't make money because of the color of my skin. I can't make money because they don't like me. I can't do this because they won't let me in. Find your own way. You don't have to worry about everybody else. This is you. God made you unique. You have gifts that you probably have not even tapped into. Sometimes you have to sit by yourself and think, what things do I like? What things don't I like, period? What do I want to do? What do I like to do all the time? Maybe some of the time. Maybe it's something I like that my spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend doesn't like or my kids don't like, but I like to do it. Maybe you can find a gift in there to do something with. You got to get out of that comfort zone and quit doing the excuse party. The excuse party is getting you nowhere, right? Nope, can't do that. Nope, can't do that. I'm too old. Nope, I can't do that. I'm too young. Who's told you all this? Society. You can't keep listening to them. Because they'll push you down all the time. Most of the time when people say stuff like that, you're too old, you're too young, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're too sick, you're too ill. It's because they're sitting at home not doing anything either. They're not doing anything. They're not getting anywhere. And so they're looking at you according to society norms. You can't get anywhere either. Or they may be the same age as you and going, no, you can't do that. You know, we're 70 something years old. You can't do that. You can do whatever you want to do until you leave this earth. If you want to start a little business at such and such age, go right ahead. Try it. Nobody's stopping you. Those are excuses in life. We only got one life to live. This is it. Each day determines your future. You may even hit upon something that could put you in millions of dollars. Just an idea that you may have had even long ago that you never even tried. You got to sacrifice the poor you and the you you used to be. 
you can change. Nobody told you you couldn't change except society. We keep listening to people all the time, and most of them have gotten nowhere. Think of your friends. Have they gotten any further than you? Are you going to stay in that same boat with them? It's okay to be friends, but are you going to just stay there? You know, maybe somebody, they go out every day and they sit on the porch. Who says you were going to sit on the porch every day with them? Maybe if that's what you like to do, but maybe there's something else you want to do. Is that what you're going to do till, till you leave this earth? Maybe you have an idea or something. Maybe you can roll it past your person that's sitting on the porch. Now, some of them always go, no, no, can't do that. I'm too old. Well, you just keep going. Okay, if they don't want to do it, well, I'm going to try it. See what's going on. You got to get where you want to be in life. You got to have a life. It, it does not have to mean that you're going to go skateboarding and you don't know how to do it. Okay, or do something just really outlandish crazy. It could be just simple. You may be somebody that crochets and you want to start a little tiny business. Who says you can? Maybe you sew. Who says you can? Maybe you just want to get out and go work at one of the restaurants somewhere. Who says you can't try? Who says you can't go? And don't be discouraged if they turn you down for a minute. You just keep going. And that means young people too. Don't be discouraged. Middle class, ages, doesn't make any difference. Don't be discouraged. There's, this should be no excuse zone. The only person you're competing against is yourself. You're not competing against everybody else. And you need to learn to uplift others after you keep going. Because they're watching you. You may be working at Burger King and you're older, but you're uplifting those people that are in there. Maybe you go in singing all the time. Maybe you're happy. You don't know who you're uplifting. Even if you're walking down the street and you're going into a shop every day. I learned when I go to my grocery store all the time that they were actually missing me. I had not been in there a while because we've been doing the seasonal work and all these different things, and I decided to go in the grocery store. Instead of, I usually order delivery or pick up, and I said, well, I'll just go in, you know, get a few things. And they about had a heart attack when I came to do There you are. We wondered where you were. You don't know who's missing you. Who you been uplifting? Because when I go in, usually I'm, you know, talking to everybody. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? I listen to their little stories. Because other people, sometimes they don't have anybody to listen to them. They may be at home with 12 kids and a husband, but nobody is listening. And some of you know how that feels. When nobody's listening to what you're talking about. Or you're, they're home by themselves and they have nobody to talk to. Or they're young and nobody's talking to them. You know, I would go around, how, you know, with my cart, how, how you doing? How you doing in school? What's going on? You know, one of them had a baby. You know, he had gotten married and I got him a little gift for the baby. He wasn't expecting it. He was all overjoyed. I mean, just some little things to uplift people. You uplift people, you uplift yourself. Lift. You know, I do this thing with my mouth sometimes. But be gracious. Appreciate what you have. Look for your gifts. There's no excuse Okay, no excuses whatsoever if you want to do something with your life and continue on. No excuses at all. If you hit a bump in the road, it's nobody's business but yours because you're competing against yourself. So today, guess what? Game day. Halloween, save I believe, because Halloween is coming. We don't exactly celebrate Halloween. What happens is, which if you haven't heard, we the kids 
um, decorate the inside of the house and they put cardboard and wood up and the, the grandparents have gotten into it now. So they, they keep the, from the house being destroyed accidentally or something, but they cover, there's wood and they make a path through my house down here in the, in the, on the first floor and to the basement. And what happens is they got different checkpoints, you know, where they get candy and the kids dress up and pass out things. It's not a scary thing, but it's dressed up Halloween-y, I want to call it. And the neighborhood loves it. And every year they're like, are you going to do that again? Are you going <laughs> to again? So that's what we do. And now the grandparents have gotten into it and um, neighborhood. And what happens in the neighborhood, they usually cook some kind of Halloweenish looking things, you know, the finger weenies and all that stuff. <laughs> what it is. But, you know, type thing. I don't kind of get into that too much. You know, I'll go buy some cupcakes or something. Um, and then they have a parade downtown and a Halloween costume party downtown we go to and that's about it. It's not it's not about scaring and all this other crazy stuff people come up with. You know, it's just fun. And but, you know, if we didn't do it we'd be all right. There's a couple of years we didn't do anything and we weren't worried about it, you know. But the kids they gotten kinda in the neighborhood now. Now they can do things and the adults like it. They smile and you know, you see them going around. But it's fun time. You know, sometimes you gotta have a little fun. So here we go. And let's see, goes over here. And we've got witch hat, witch tax, cauldron. So this is the haunted house. Let's see, fog. What does this say? Haunted forest, the coffin chest, the full moon, carriage ride, friendly ghosts, chance to run. Okay, that's up here. Okay. Oh, your choice. Okay, scary ghost. And then we have free gravestone. It's not free, it's five dollars. Jack o' lantern, carriage ride, pumpkin patch, go to the haunted house for ten dollars. Uh bats, coffin chest, which is right there, uh garlic, steak, carriage ride, graveyard, chance to run in the zombie and go say five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay, we'll get the dice. We'll try to get this. I guess. Either one. They both. This one looks good. Let's do this. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's four dollars. Okay. One. The coffin chest, and it says roll two times, one and two, and that's five dollars. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the scary ghost, and he is, or she, is seven dollars. One is the free gravestone. That's really five dollars. It's not free. And that's five dollars. Okay, I said five dollars. Thank you. Okay, three. One, two, three. That's our pumpkin patch, which is nine dollars. And we went to the pumpkin patch, and it says go to the haunted house, which is ten dollars. Which is over here again. If I pass by it, I say five dollars. I didn't pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got the friendly ghost for two dollars. One dollar chance to run. Ah, so we can put in, let's put in five dollars. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the haunted house again. We'll put ten dollars here. We go to the haunted house. We didn't pass by it. Three. One, two, three. The coffin again. Two time roll. One, two. That's one dollar. 
We might get around here today. One dollar, the full moon, which is six dollars. Four. One, two, three, four, the scary ghost, seven dollars. Yes, scary, seven. Three. One, two, three, that's the carriage ride, save the roll, so that was three dollars. Three again. One, two, three. We got onto the bats. Two. One, two. The garlic is $12. We used to have scary movies in high school. And at lunchtime, after you finished eating, you could go, you know, pay so much. I think it was 50 cent or a quarter or something. No, it was 25 cents. I was right. 25 cents. And they would show part of, you know, those old movies of Dracula and all that stuff. Well, Dracula would get on my nerves. But I love to look at the scary movie, I guess, because all the kids, we were all together. And, <laughs> and look at these old movies. And I tell you, I would come home. And I had grabbed my mother's garlic. I had a cross at night. I was scared to death and still go back the next day and look at, look at it. It was something. I was like, oh, my. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ah, and save your choice. We'll put in $3. Okay. And our last roll is the zombie, I think. Well, maybe not. We'll try one more. Five. One, we passed that, so that is five dollars. Okay, so we had five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and we ended up at the haunted house. And we didn't pass it, but we'll put the five dollars because we passed it a couple of times. So we saved a hundred and twenty five dollars. Woo, party over here. Yes, yes. Ooh, for September, it's a hundred and twenty-five dollars. So we will see next time. You know, I got the Thanksgiving one and all that other stuff. So we will save properly over here. Okay. So I hope you are saving. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, at the end of the month, I think it was on the thirtieth. This is my daughter. She was reminding me. We are having a another giveaway with the green sheets. So go over there and see Donna Lisa at the green sheets. Okay? Because at the end of the month, I don't know what she's going to give us, but I'll talk to her in a little bit. You know, I got to get around what I'm doing. I'm trying. But either way, whatever she gives for the giveaway, I'll let you know, and she will let you know. Remember, if you are going to be entered in the giveaway, make sure that you are subscribed to her and my channel at the same time, okay? And stay there. <laughs> Some of you jump on there to get to, to see if you get to give, and then you jump off, and then I'm, like, looking for you. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> so, and stay there. Stay there, okay? But anyway... That's what we'll be doing September the 30th, the green sheets, yeah, okay? So, Cash Bear Mama and the green she she sheets, <laughs> sheets, make sure you like and subscribe, go visit her channel now, and subscribe, make sure you're subscribed to my channel now, so you're not sitting there worrying about it, or forgetting about it until the last minute, and then fuss about it. you didn't get anything, okay? So, that's when it will be. Take care. Enjoy. No excuses this week. None. Don't want to hear about it. None. I know you're having trouble. Yes, I'll listen, but no excuses. See ya.